Well, you're alive. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was... Oh! I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. Should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr... Er, Mr. Uh, Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarland. Miss Bonnie McFarland. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarland. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? I was trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance. For old times' sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. A long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, miss. <laughs> See my hat? I have. And, uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later? Help me patrol the perimeter. You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. Back in the land of the living, I see. Figured it's about time I started paying back that $15. Well, no time to waste. The horses are saddled up over here. Enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. Come on, time for you to see what a real ranch looks like. store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. Let's go! Get that. And here's the corral. This one's for the horses. What do you think? Try to keep up, will you? Let's go! Finally got finished, bringing in all sorts of new folk like yourself. Is 
that such a bad thing? Change is only good when it makes things better. Come on! That's the barn over there. Paul built it himself when I was just a little girl. Yeah! Come on, Come on. boy! And here we are, back at the house. Head out on patrol. You get no complaints from me, Miss McFarland. What are you waiting for? Come on, I don't bite. <sighs> How about a cold drink? Ready, Mr. Marston? Let's mount up and patrol the ranch. Let's go. Keep your eyes open and try not to get yourself shot again. Mr. Marston, I feel a lot happier someone's along with me. I feel a lot happier now I got a rifle. Well, with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition, we should make quite a team. I don't believe it. Those damn rabbits are back. Give me a hand with them, will you? Whoa. Come on, then. Time to put that blood luck to good, good use. Nice shot. Better at shooting rabbits than outlaws, I see. Much obliged for the help. Them rabbits can be wily little critters. Let's get back on the horses and see what else is going on. Let's get going. We've still got plenty of ground to cover. If it's not the rustlers stealing our cattle, it's the rabbits stealing our crops. It ain't never easy living off the land like this. Maybe you should move to a big city. Become a lady of leisure. Damn coyotes are back! We can't afford to lose any more livestock. Kill them, Mr. Marston! Easy. handle a rifle. It's something I've had a little experience in. Maybe Bill Williamson did get lucky after all. Luck didn't really come into it, miss. You're a useful man to have around the ranch, that's for sure. But don't think I've forgotten what brought you here. We'll do whatever we can to help you. I sure appreciate that, Miss McFarland. Here we are. Mr. Marston. Makes me kind of happy I saved your life. Get some sleep and I will see you in the morning. Good night, Miss McFarlane.
Mr. Marston, how are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarland. Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, come in, come in. You know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williamson or what you wanted from him. No, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale, and by telling you, not only would I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets so us country folk are impressed. <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. I hate to take money from a lady, miss. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. We'll see. On the count of three. Three, two, one, go! I trust you're not gonna be a gentleman about this! You don't know me at all, Miss McFarland! Come on! God damn! Yeah!
Yeah. Giddy up! Neck and neck, Miss McFarland! I'll wait for you to catch up. Would you like me to slow down? Whoa there. Whoa. <laughs> that was fun. Sure. You know, you should go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. I'm sure he could help you deal with that nice Mr. Williamson. Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarland. You do whatever you think best, Mr. Marston. doing that. Another poor sick soul seeks assistance. I'll be Hi there. The real ah, a serious customer. Excellent. Well, I reckon I best head back to work. I'm always Bye ready now. to make a deal. Moving picture shows real good. Well, I'll be damned. Hello, Ray. Thank you. Good to see you. Pleasure dealing with you. Paid for sheriffing. That's your hey. job. Your fat's gonna be in the oh, shit. He almost got me, Mister. You even shot a gun before. Be around here someplace. Thank <laughs> you. 
Pass that tongue out if you use it. I lost the Sorry about this, partner. Here is a real... Everybody make dust! Everybody make dust! I had enough of being hassled around here. Don't go causing no more trouble then, sir. I don't want to die out here.
sudden move now. I doubt you'll be needing this. Excuse me, mister. Follow Charlie. He's a good one to sniff out trouble. Stay close to Charlie.
stupid now. Hey, mister. All genuine stuff here. Now you know I don't listen to that jibber jabber. Nice doing business with you. That's it. Thanks for stopping by. Follow Charlie. He's a good one to sniff out trouble. Stick next to the dog, mister. What is it, boy? Yeah. <laughs> 
Smartest, are you, deputy? Hey, look where you're going. I've learned the errors of my ways. Don't go causing no more trouble then, sir. You'll believe anything I say because I'm white. Seems like an honorable man, but...